Okay, so for case A, at equilibrium we've got our mass M, we've got K1, got K2, we can call this length 1, we can call this length 2, and they're not stretched. Now we stretch the string by applying some force. We have it stretched some distance x, and we've got L1 plus x1 is the length of this first spring, L2 plus x2 is the length of this second spring, x1 plus x2 is equal to x, the total extension of the spring. So if this is 0, there's 0, then this is x, a position x from there. Okay, now the tricky part of this question is to realise that these two springs are applying a force on each other. And Newton's third law tells us that as they're connected, this force must be opposite and equal. So we can say the force applied by this spring is equal to K1X1, and that must be equal to the force of this spring, which is K2X2. So we have K1X1 is equal to K2X2. So we can write X2 is equal to K1 on K2X1. Okay, now we've got that X, the total displacement is X1 plus X2. And we can write this as X1 plus K1 on K2X1, just substituting in from here. So this is equal to... 1 plus k1 on k2, x1. So x1 is equal to x over 1 plus k1 on k2. Multiply the top and the bottom by k2, and we end up with k2x over k2 plus k1. Now let's just consider force 1. So we have some total force here total force is going to be pushing this back here and will be equal to minus kx. But the force on spring 1, F1, will equal minus k1 times the extension of this first spring, x1. So this will be equal to minus k1 times x1, which is k2x over k2 plus k1. And so the force will be minus K1, K2 over K1 plus K2, X. Okay, so this here is our effective spring constant for this system. And we've derived the equation that the period is equal to 2 pi root M on K. In this case, it's the effective K. And so this is equal to 2 pi root m. Now k effective is k1 plus k2 over k1, k2. And so that there is the period for this system. Now case b is a little bit easier. Here's k1, here's k2. They've got length L1 and L2. Then we disturb it. This is in equilibrium. Now we disturb it. We pull at a distance x. We've still got K1, K2. And this length is now L1 minus x. And this length is L2 plus x. Okay, so let's consider the force. In the... Due to the first spring, it's acting to the right as the spring's been moved, the mass has been moved to the left. So it's K1x. In the second case, the spring's been extended, so the force is to move it back to its equilibrium position, which is again to the right. So we've got the force K2x. And so our total force F is equal to K1x minus K2x. This is minus, they're both back towards the equilibrium position. We put our minuses there to show that they're towards the equilibrium position. So this is equal to minus K1 plus K2X. So this is our effective K. And so our period is equal to 2 pi root 
m over k effective, which is k1 plus k2. Okay, so that's the end of that lecture.